again uh, convey our appreciation for you deciding to come here and help us. And this uh, being not your first time, for some of you it is the first time, but most of you have been here before. And the fact that you are coming back again and again shows us that you, your intention is to continue helping us. So uh, as president, I thought it is important for me to uh, tell you in person that we appreciate very much the good work that you are doing. We are still sending abroad a lot of patients. Some we are sending to Dar es Salaam, but some we are sending abroad because we do not have the expertise to do those surgeries here. So uh, imagine if we were to send all these patients that you have worked on, how much it would have cost us. One, we were not going to be able to do that because of financial difficulties. But the fact that you are coming all the way from your countries, from Egypt, from Saudi Arabia, from Romania, all these places, when you are here, you can help a lot of people. And this is what you are doing. So we can't be more thankful. We, we really appreciate your effort, and we would like to uh, take this opportunity to ask you to continue. And as government, we'll do our best to make sure that the facilities are better. Every time you come, we want to see that there is an improvement when it comes to facilities. Yeah, we are working uh, on uh, this. And uh, as, it, as I said, my aim is to uh, build a very good uh, joint replacement unit here in Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, definitely we need uh, your support. And uh, we are trying to do our best to do this. During the procedure, we feel we are in the, our OR time. And uh, the people, even during the surgery, they are very polite and they are very soft and they want us to do more cases and more cases. Why? And this is why all of our team, when they ask them to come back to Zanzibar, they feel happy to come back. And again, I want to thank all of our, uh, uh, your, you and your team and uh, Felix. And uh, today in this mission, we have uh, also direct aid. It's the first time we have collaboration with them. In the promise you, inshallah, we'll send to you our program from Felix, how we can help in Zanzibar in subspeciality with the expert uh, professor and surgeon in the future, inshallah. inshallah. Alhamdulillah, uh, with your support, we have done, I would say, all for all, almost a thousand operations. Since the beginning, we have came here first in 2016, and uh, we have set a, a theater room, and step by step, we are trying to do more by your uh, you know, generous support and efforts that you have been uh, paying to us. We come here and train local people as well. Yes. Uh, starting with cleaning people, nursing people, doctors, and yes. so on. Absolutely. Maybe we can find a way, and in the same time that we come and work, to do a bit of teaching for them as well. The that we didn't do before, including serodectomy, now at the there are people that can do serodectomy, seroglossal cysts removal. I myself, I, initially I was not able to do cystectomy. Now I can do cystectomy, I can do myomectomy, I can do hysterectomy, and uh, I'm better assistance more. And also there are people who can do BPH prostatectomy, which initially they were not doing. It was not done in Pemba. So now it can be done. And also they plan to facilitate to send one person to do urology so we can have all doctors available in Pemba. This time, no more bleeding and more the patient will be happy, right? And uh, mainly patient can be discharged within three days comparing with the open surgery, which is in 10 days, which is, uh, I think, is perfect for them, right? And thank all of you. Thank you. For uh, inviting here, us here, and you are welcome.